Hello, everybody. In my previous episode, we talked about how to configure your XPS production line. Today, I'm going to tell you something about how to figure out the portfolio of the brewing agents for your XPS production. I'm going to discuss from four aspects uh, local regulation, source availability, local insulation standard, and uh, technical issues. First of all, the local regulations. The most well known brewing agent for XPS is Freon, a series of heavy carbon, including CFCs, HCFCs, and HFCs. Every country has its own regulation about the use of Freon. In most developed countries, HCFC is banned now, while in some developing countries like China, still can use it until 2030. Indonesia can use it until 2040. But many countries are carrying out the new plan to speed up the phasing out schedule of HCFCs. One thing I have to address is that due to the poor solubility in polystyrene, CO2 cannot be used as blowing agent alone. It has to be mixed with other blowing agents together like ethanol, butane, or DME, etc. as solvent to help CO2 solve into the polystyrene. Secondly, the source availability. In some countries, some kinds of blowing agents are not available and not allowed to use at all. For example, in some Middle East countries, ethanol is not available and not allowed to import. So you have to use something else to be alternatives. And in some developed countries, even HFCs are not available and not allowed to use, let alone HCFCs. So you have to consult with your local authority to see the source availability. Thirdly, the local insulation standard. Every country has its own standard for thermal conductivity of XPS board. Let's take China. China national standard of thermal conductivity of XPS is 0 0.030. On the other hand, some countries they don't use thermal conductivity as a standard. They use thermal resistance value or R value instead. But how does the standard have something to do with the recipe of your balloon agent? The reason is that using different uh, balloon agent can result in the different thermal conductivity of your final product. For example, when you use HCFCs or HFCs, you can control the lambda value below 0 0.029. However, if you use CO2 plus ethanol, it's hard to make the lambda value under than 0 0.033. To get the lambda value below 0 0.030, some companies are using the mixture of HFC, CO2, and ethanol. The last issue I'd like to talk about is the relationship between thickness, hardness, and the recipe of your balloon agent. Using HCFCs or HFCs is easier to get thickness like 15 cm. If you use CO2 as the main blown agent, it will be very hard to get such thickness unless your production line can yield 1.5 ton per hour. But CO2 is advisable when you produce very high compressive strength board like 1000 kPa because CO2 has smaller uh, cell volume which is helpful to get finer cell structure of the board. I hope my talk can help you make the right decision as choosing XPS production line. Thanks for your time. If I can help you anyway, please don't hesitate to contact us now.